Hi, in the next few minutes I'm going to show you a really nice tool that will improve your productivity as a tester. So what would you say if I showed you a tool that can help you with test ideas, with automation, so test automation, test ideas, and also accessibility testing all in one. Plus, it's free. So I'm talking about this Chrome extension called TestCraft. So you just need to install the extension and once you have it installed, you start it, you open it, it looks like this and you need to do the following steps. So before you can generate ideas, or do automation or check for accessibility, you need to pick an element or the element that you want to check. Of course, you can try to select the whole page, but that's not the actual point. The point is, let's say we have this elements right here which have categories so i select the element now i get the information element was picked and what do i do from here well i open the test craft and i have generate test ideas automate and check accessibility so let's try them one by one if i do check accessibility this will check the elements or the element that we selected for different accessibility issues in accordance to the global uh, acceptable standards and you can just uh, copy this and then give it to the, to the developer or you can analyze this and make sure they're correct and then give it to a developer or create some Jira tickets. Now besides accessibility there are two things which are really really nice. On the one hand you can generate test ideas. So what does that mean? That means based on what you have selected the tool will be able to generate some positive tests, some negative tests, and let's say some creative or a little bit out of the box tests. Now you can try and just mark this as checked. Once you have performed these checks, you can change them. You can copy them to clipboard or the nice thing, you can select, well, I would just want to automate them. And if you click automate, what it will do, it will create some automation script. Now, this may not be perfect, but it is definitely a starting point for your automation um, <clears throat> automation task. So you can go ahead and review this. And as you can see it, what did it do? So it created some Cypress tests and um, okay, the, did it before each hook and here it confirms that each category is displayed with the correct image. Nice. So you can just copy all of this. As you can see we have um, not one but two classes and it's divided by class. So this would be one class and the other would be another class with your tests. Now you might be asking but you do not want um, <clears throat> you don't want Cypress. You want Playwright or you want something else. Well, no problem. You have a setting here and you can uh, do the following. You can select, okay, you don't want Cypress, um, you want Playwright. Or as you can see, I cannot select Cypress with Java because Cypress doesn't go with Java. Cypress goes with JavaScript and TypeScript, which is which is nice. Or you can say you want Playwright and Playwright you can do with JavaScript, TypeScript, Java, Python and C Sharp. And same goes for Selenium WebDriver. So let's try Playwright and Java and go back and do automate. Now, if we did everything correctly, it should generate our tests or the previous tests that we had for playouts or playout syntax. And it should have uh, all the tests again. Now it seemed to do the same test, but yeah, a little bit different, different format. Now I cannot say that it's, this will work 100% of the time or that you will not need to do any updates. But this is a really good tool that you can add to your bag of tricks. And if you want more, just check the list of all the tools I have in this playlist. And as always, thank you for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one and bye bye.